This video is a little bit different. Every now and then I do a video for the algorithm. Every now and then I do a video for me. And every now and then as a dad, I get to do a video for one of my kids. And I have done several with my son who we call MJ on the channel. I've done art prompts. I've dressed as Luigi on his birthday and he was Mario, that was fun. We've done all sorts of fun little things, but I've never actually done a video with my daughter. So I thought it'd be a really fun treat to take her into a room with three amazing art materials, mediums to play with, sculpture, drawing, and painting. See which she gravitated towards and see where that takes us. You want to do painting, don't you? All right, let's set up for some painting. So she chose painting. No surprises there because that was probably in the thumbnail or title, but there would be surprises in what we do because I had zero plans, zero expectations as to what we would do. I just wanted to see where her creativity would take us both. And we have so many paints. Look how many paints we have. That's pretty cool, huh? Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. What colors would you like? I'm red. There's red. Blue. Blue. Wow. Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Oh. Purple. Purple. Wow. Oh. Sounds like a farty bum. Yeah. What do you think you want to paint? Elsa. You're going to paint Elsa? Yeah. You want to paint Hannah. Oh, you want me to paint Hannah? That's fine. And of course, the three year old's creativity led us straight to frozen. <laughs> and a mobile destructive vortex of violently swirling wind. Oh, you got a lovely yellow. What's that? That's a tornado. A tornado? Yeah. Oh, good. You know, in Frozen where, where there was a tornado. I want to see your version of the movie. <laughs> so what else are you going to put in your scene aside from a tornado? Any ideas? Are you going to paint Olaf? No, it's a tornado. It's, it's still a tornado. tornado. This is a big tornado. That's so where's Elsa going to go in your picture? Put right here. Oh, great. Do you love doing art? Yeah. You do, don't you? Have you ever heard of Bob Ross? He's a bit before your time. Is Frozen your favorite movie? Yeah. Uh, who's your favorite character? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, while her brother is definitely a performer, I, I think I can see a little bit of me in her and the way she actually gets lost in her creativity. She does go a little bit quiet and really feel her way into these new mediums. It's just really fun to watch and be a part of that. So we've got a tornado. Yeah. You've got Elsa up there. Yeah. What else are you working on? I'm making white. White, yeah. That's a good idea. Is that like the snow? Yeah. You're making Anna. I'm making Anna. Now I'm going to do, oh, I don't have Anna's skin colour, so I'm going to try and make it. You ready? So I'm going to get a bit of white, yeah. I'm going to get a little bit of red, I'm going to get a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue. There you go. Does that look like on the skin colour? Yeah. A bit too much blue in my paint. <laughs> That's all right. It's a cold scene. Oh no, I spilled paint on me. Oh no. Oh no. Daddy, daddy. I've got paint on my face. Oh, I can wipe it. Here's some Peter wipe. Thank you. Am I clean now? Yeah. Good. Daddy, daddy. What else are you going to paint? I'm gonna paint the tornado. Oh, that's pretty big. That's a rainbow. Oh, that's a rainbow. Yeah. Well, do you want to do a few colours in the rainbow? You know how the song goes, don't you? Red and yellow and pink don't and touch. green. It's very loud. <laughs> ah, I fall down. It, yes, I've ha I still have to fix up the messy. The messy yeah. face. I think I'll do the, the face next. Oh, it's very messy. It's very messy. Yeah. I'm working on it. Wow. Yeah, it's a tornado. It's a tornado! All right, now I'm going to do the face. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to do the side of her face like this. So there's the eyebrows. What's that? This is her, it's Anna. Oh. All right, ready? Check this out. Big eyes. You can draw Elsa. Do you want me to draw Elsa next? And we'll do her mouth. Yeah. yeah. Does my Anna look pretty or pretty scary? It's pretty scary. Yeah. And then I'll give her a little bit of some facial detail, a bit of an outline. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? I've done a tornado. That's so nice. You want to do another one? Yeah. Shall we start again? Yeah. Did they teach you a painting? Yeah. This time I thought I would take a leadership role and pass on my wisdom and knowledge and skills through a tutorial, guide my daughter through the steps of creating a painting. Imagine I was trying to be the Bob Ross to guide her through 
the joy of painting. She's used to tutorials, specifically someone being told what to do, and usually she is the one telling the person what to do. In fact, she's done a tutorial before. A drawing tutorial. This is Bee's drawing tutorial. We, it was on the vlog channel. Here, check it out. Take circle, and then go higher, go down. And then you go down. Smiley face, go do higher. Smiley face. Uh, sm <laughs> So clearly she understands art instruction. The question is, can she or will she follow mine? <laughs> Probably not. Now we're going to paint a landscape, which means like a, the land all scaped out. It'll be nice, trust me. What colour do you want the sky to be? Blue and white and pink and red. So you put on the brush, right? We're going to go in the middle. In the middle, across like this. Can you do a line like that? Back and forth. Good, yeah. So far so good with one paint stroke down. That's as far as I get before it goes off the rails immediately. <laughs> Back and forth. Good. Now, oh, yeah. oh, yours is drippy too this time. Very messy. It's very messy. That looks pretty cool though. Yes. Let me show you. So you mix the blue and the pink. Okay. You do that with your brush. You go tap it in there. There you go. And we go up the top. And that's pretty cool too. <laughs> oh. Ah. ah, you got some paint on you! Now, while I might say it went off the rails pretty quickly, if you actually look at what she's doing, it's really cool to see. She's finding how the paint works kinesthetically. Oh, <laughs> that's my girl! Now, you really can see her enjoying seeing the water run as she mixes in more water, seeing the color of the water change as she puts the colors into the water. And she was enjoying changing the color of the water as much as she was enjoying putting the paint on the canvas. So as much as it would have been nice to show her a few steps and guide her through a bit of a painting process, it was super satisfying to see her want to explore the medium and genuinely discover things. It's, it's exactly what I do and love doing when it comes to my creativity. And it was really fun to share that with her. Wow, that's amazing. Would you like daddy to make you a painting of something and then I can bring it to you after work. Yeah. What would you like a painting of? Tornado. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make you a tornado. So I had my first commission, or I guess you could technically say collaboration, because while she asked to have a tornado, when it came to the two work in progresses that we'd both started, hers was a way better foundation for a tornado piece. With those dramatic colour and cloud textures through the wet mixtures that she'd used, it was perfect and a really fun way to have worked with her through this video to create something that I could give to her. First of all, building in the body of the tornado and slowly building up sources of light, adding a little more body and texture to the clouds and building out a horizon and scene. A sunrise tornado. And obviously in theme with everything that we've done so far and everything I know my daughter loves, it wouldn't be right if I didn't find a way to include Elsa.
So I have a painting. I finished it off. She started it off. I'm going to give this to her. I hope she loves it. I'm going to wrap up the YouTuber, YouTube part of this video and say, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. I mean, that's what I do here. I muck around with art and in the most personal ways I can think of, which are usually cool and sometimes a little sentimental. And it's going to include my family now and then. And I love my family. But I hope you love the piece, but most importantly, there's someone I really hope enjoys the outcome. I'm going to take it to her. I'm really happy with this piece. I really hope my little girl loves it, especially because I think she needs a little bit of cheering up. Since we recorded our little session together painting, the very next day we were celebrating a potty training victory running down the hallway and she slipped and split her head open on the corner of a wall. It was heartbreaking. It was a traumatic weekend. She's doing fine and there was nothing more than surface damage, but it was it was upsetting for her and it was tiring for the whole family and obviously pretty traumatic. So I'm really hoping that our little collaboration is gonna shed a bit of light on her little whirlwind of a weekend. Do you like it? Good job. Good team. <laughs>